Oh look, something broke in my truck. It's not supposed to go like that. It's supposed to go in right there. Maybe I'll go and look through my giant wall of chemicals and different things that I have purchased over the years. Hundreds and hundreds of dollars of chemicals and products. Surely, something in this giant wall of chemicals and products from hundreds of dollars should fix this. What's that? No? No, I need something else. There's something else that I have to buy in order to fix this. I can't just go through and use my epoxy. I have to go get something specialized. Well, that sounds about right. It says every time I do a project, it seems like I have to go somewhere and purchase some new chemical to add to my giant stash. Oh, it's $30. Yeah, that makes sense. Why wouldn't it be $30 for a giant tube that I only need one-tenth of? I need $3 worth of product to fix this to make my window work again. Oh, so it makes sense that I would have to buy a $30 tube. Oh, but it does have a nice little pop top. That's fancy. I like that. Cool, I guess. $30. Pretty neat. Thanks, everyone. I wish I could just get enough to go in here. Oh, and then I have to stick a nail in here to pop the top. That seems so weird. Why Why in my $30 tube do I have to pop the seal with a nail? That seems absurd. At least I get to use my sweet battery-powered gun to put in this new product. That's right. It fits in my little gun. I like this gun quite a bit, to be honest, but I don't like having to buy yet another thing to put in that gun. I don't know how many tubes I have in my shelf. Are any of them still good? Probably not. But if I go and check them, then I'll have to somehow get them unclogged. And by the time I've gotten them unclogged, well, they're probably just going to go sit back on the shelf again. So I may as well just wait and have an unpleasant surprise by the time it is time to go and find this tube and find out that it's been dried up for several years. Oh well. Well, I've got my window in. Let's see if it holds. Yay, the window goes up. Not that that was a problem before, but it goes up. And hopefully it'll go down without jumping the track. Well, now I gotta try and figure out a way to save my $30 tube that I still have 90% of. I'll put a screw in there. Maybe that'll let me pull out the product in the future. Oh, and what's this? Is my jack out of oil? Is there any product I have that will let me fill up my jack? No? Oh, I guess I have to go buy jack oil. Back to AutoZone. It's time to buy some jack oil. Glug, 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 glug. The jack is very thirsty somehow. I don't know how, but there it is. The jack is now filled with oil. And so now, yet another bottle is going to go live up on my shelf. A bottle of chemicals that will have no other use except sitting on my shelf.